hopefully it's not too windy out here. Got the resto gen sitting back over there, looking good. But we got a new truck, and I want to show you this truck. I want to go over this truck, see what you guys think. And now I asked you guys under a video, handful of videos back, I said, what do you guys want to see again? I said, do you guys want to see another huge second gen? A lot of people said, yeah, we love second gens. We haven't done one in a while. And believe it or not, it's been almost one year since we've done a second gen last. And that's that's a long time. I mean, we've gotten some video of my wife's second gen here and there, but since we've given one away, it's been a while. And here it is. It is a 2001 24 valve Cummins. And before somebody says, oh my gosh, there's scratches all over the truck. If you look at this, most of it is like little water runs from the salt and road water and crap like that. It's not all gashed up, trust me. The truck is a 2001. It's a 24 valve 55 block. I'll even show you that real quick. If you look right there, 55 block. And other than this ugly front bumper, the hood is in a little bit bad shape. You can tell somebody tried to repaint the hood and it's got some cracking in the paint. It's got some fading up in a couple spots. It's just not in the best shape, but the hood's a pretty simple fix. So the hood's gonna get redone. It's gonna have a wax and buff done to try to bring back that vibrant silver color a little bit brighter. And it's got a couple of things that I'm just not a huge fan of, but they're pretty simple things to fix. Wheels and tires, I'm not gonna be keeping these unless for some reason you guys really, really love them, but I just, I don't. I was gonna go with something that was more along the lines of wider. I have not ordered the wheels and tires for the truck yet, so let me know what you guys wanna see on it. Do you wanna go 20 by 12? Do you wanna go 22 by 12, 22 by 14, 24 by 14, 24 by 16? I mean, what do you guys wanna see on it? Sky's the limits, just let me know. I'm gonna get rid of the mirrors. I'm gonna be putting a different set on. Do you guys want the third gen? or do you want the fourth or fifth gen style? Let me know on those as well. The grill's gonna be going. I just, I don't love it. It's just flat black. I mean, it could be painted, I guess, but I, I'm just not a huge fan of it. We're gonna be taking it to get the wax and buff done. We're also gonna be having the hood completely sanded and worked down and then repainted, realigned. And if for some reason he can't figure out how to do that and can't manage it, we may have to get a new hood, possibly. And not only is the truck rust free, but it's only got 133,000 miles on it. Yeah, 133,000 miles. And of course, that's not like a 55,000 mile truck like when we gave away the red and white first gen, but that's really hard to find. This truck here is my wife's and it's got 268,000 miles on it, which again, these trucks will run half a million if you maintain them properly and stuff, sometimes much more than that. So the 130,000 miles just really grabbed my attention and I had to go get the thing. It's got two real small cracks in the windshield. Here's some more of that, those hood flaws I was telling you about, some crackling, some weird, little things here and there, just kind of annoying stuff. The bumper, I'm not a huge fan of. I'm planning on swapping the bumper out with something that's more appealing. What do you guys think we should do? We might be able to hunt down a fourth jump bumper or a sport bumper to match the truck and paint match it. Let me know on that. Again, it's all up to you guys. Let me know. Either way, I'm gonna have to buy a bumper. I don't, I don't have to, I just, I don't like this one. So just let me know what you guys wanna see on that. And then, depending on the bumper, Tell me what grill you would want to go with it to properly fit the truck. If you look at the frame, it's actually in really good, clean shape for the most part. It's got some small leaks and stuff that we're gonna have addressed. I'm actually gonna be taking it to our shop up here in Fort Wayne that does all that stuff for us. They do, you know, if you get a fuel leak, an oil leak or whatever, they'll take the truck, they'll fix whatever it is and then have that good as new for us. And so from somewhere between the engine and the fuel tank, there's a leak coming from somewhere. We're gonna have that addressed, but that just really was not one of my biggest concerns with this truck because it drove super nice, looked super clean. Sorry, I was in the middle of talking about the truck and forgot it was locked. And you wanna know another thing that's really cool? Freaking key fobs still work on the thing. I mean, here's the interior of the truck. This is another thing that really got my attention. It is so hard to find these trucks with seats that are not ripped to literally shreds and that still have the trim pieces. This thing still has the wood grain trim pieces. The buttons are all still here. The mirrors work. They adjust, everything works. The dash doesn't have any cracks or anything on it. And it's not a replaced dash. It's the original dash and it's not all busted up. The seats, again, there's no rips. If you get in the back here, the back seat looks like it's hardly ever been sat in. It's a really, really good shape. Could use a wipe down, some vacuuming, stuff like that. But the carpet is also in really, really great shape show you the carpet up here very clean 
And another selling point for me was if you look at the rockers, there's no surface rust or anything anywhere. And yes, they're metal, solid all the way around. I trust me, I knocked all over them. Very, very clean. If you look under the back seat, you've got some, it looks like an extra pillar for a tuner that was on the truck at some point, I'm guessing. You said there was no tuner on the truck, but looks like somebody at least had the intentions of putting one on, or maybe they did have one on, I don't know. Flip up, everything's clean under there. But of course, guys, lots of potential for the truck. And just so you believe me, 133,000 miles on it. And yeah, starts up instantly. Truck runs awesome. Again, guys, I can't make this stuff up. The thing is super clean. I got a steal of a deal on it. And the best part is the guy watched the video. So when I messaged him, he's like, dude, I watch your videos. Yes, I'll hold it for you. Let me know when you're gonna be here. Super cool guy, by the way. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thanks so much for holding the truck. I know you didn't have to do that. I offered earnest money and everything, and he was just like, nah, dude, I'll hold it. I understand, like, I'm totally good with it. I trust you. Thanks so much. See how clean that frame is. Super, super clean. I mean, even the axle is super clean and the leaf packs and everything. Tailgate, nice and straight. Again, there's lots of residue on it, but all that stuff, it's, it's not a big deal. The one thing I despise about the truck, and I know you guys will too, but don't worry, we'll fix it. The truck is sitting on a three inch body lift, and he didn't do that to the truck. You listen to that. Sounds so good. The truck's sitting on a three inch body lift and I don't know about you, I'm not a huge fan of that idea. So what I'm probably gonna do, Devin, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna ask the favor, can you remove the three inch body lift? I just, I can't stand it. I don't like it, it doesn't look good to me and I feel like it would cut away at the integrity of the bed holding up if you're actually gonna work the truck down the road. I would just like to get rid of it. Maybe there's guys that have other feelings about them. I don't really care. I just, the idea of it, not my style. The bed's in really, really good shape, but it doesn't sit on the frame. And that worries me because if you're ever going to actually work the truck, how well is it going to hold up in the center of the bed? See what I'm saying? And not to mention, it makes these ugly gaps for the rear end of the truck. And it makes another ugly gap for the front end of the truck with the bumper. give me a very good feeling. But here's a closer look at the top of the truck. Cab's in really good shape. Paint's holding up on top pretty well. And I'm sure the truck was repainted at some point. But for the most part, I'm actually kind of happy with the way the paint looks on the truck. Other than the hood really bothers me. And there's one spot right here where it looks like maybe the tires were rubbing at some point and they chewed this up. And then it started to rust a little bit. But again, we have a really good paint guy and he can touch up all those small things that we just don't really like and don't care for. And he'll make this thing absolutely baller when it's done. So what do you guys think of the truck? I know that some people were like, oh man, it's gotta be a 24 valve. Some people are like, oh, it's gotta be a 12 valve. It's gotta be manual. It's gotta be an auto. You know, you, you guys get the idea. I like the truck. I think it's awesome. And I think we can do a lot with it. We're probably gonna hold off a few weeks before we start the giveaway on this truck. Like we're gonna do what we did last time. We're gonna make sure all the orders are shipped out before we start this next giveaway. And not only that, we're gonna make sure that we have the parts in on day one so that this thing can get built and done ASAP once this thing gets rolling and then we're not trying to do it at the last minute. So there's gonna be a couple of differences with this giveaway between the current one, but you know, you guys will have your shot at this truck too. So I'm actually gonna turn it off. But the thing, it runs awesome. It's stout, oh yeah, and the seats work. Need a little bit of grease under there, but they work. So we're gonna take a moment and let you guys kind of build this truck in the comment section. And I want you guys to do this and really think through everything. Think through what you would do to this truck, bumper to bumper, literally. So in terms of power, what would you do in terms of power? In terms of suspension, what would you do in terms of suspension? In terms of the bumper and the grill, what would you do? The mirrors, the headlights, the taillights, the tent, you know, everything. How would you want this truck built to your dream setup 
and let me know in the comments below. You can get as crazy as you want and I'm gonna take everything into consideration. And speaking of building this truck exactly the way you want, it would help if you would place some orders at lmpgear.com to win that first gen because of course, that's how we pay all the bills around here and that's how we build these trucks for you guys. I don't just have somebody to go to and say, hey, I need some more money to build these trucks. Everything that we do in terms of funding this all comes from the people who place the orders on the website and that's how we pay for all of our stuff. If you guys wanna see this stuff keep going on, if you wanna see that truck get crazier, just so you guys have a full understanding of how everything gets paid for, it's through the orders on the website. So hopefully you guys understand that and it all makes sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember, I know the video wasn't very long, it was just kinda of going over that truck, but I've got to run out of town. I got a lot of, a lot of traveling, a lot of family stuff to do. It's the holidays, hopefully you guys are all having a great time with your family, spending time with everybody you love. It's that time of year. Don't let what's going on in this world, in this nation, take that away from you because that's all we have in this life to truly hold on to is our time and our memories and everything we do with our families and the people around us. So make sure you spend time with them. Anyways, guys, hopefully enjoy the video. Remember, last 24 hours to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash and then this giveaway is gone. Every $5 is 10 entries to win and every single order placed today, again, we're gonna be throwing cash in those orders for you guys as an appreciation for placing those orders. It really helps us out a lot. That's how we can do what we do. You guys are super appreciated and super valued to us. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.